Hi guys and welcome to Fandom Newbie. This is my second Japan vlog. In this vlog, I'm basically traveling all around Japan and one of the things I love to do when I'm traveling is reading books which are like close to the theme of the place where I'm visiting. And so that's what I'm doing in this video. I am reading manga for the first time as I'm traveling around Japan. Hi guys. Okay. So we are in this really small town which is called Takayama here in Japan and this place is kind of like a heritage town because all of the buildings in this town date back to the 1600s so they have a really old feel to them and it's just very very pretty uh we are currently staying in an Airbnb here and the living room in this Airbnb is so cozy it's just like the perfect place to curl up and read a book and so that is what i'm doing this morning the books that i have got with me to japan to read are death note now i have the physical copies of death note with me but they are back in my house in mumbai um obviously i couldn't bring all 13 copies like 13 volumes of death note with me as i travel around japan and so i downloaded the ebook versions of these and so i'm reading them on my ipad i've actually finished reading two and i'm on volume 3 right now i read two in tokyo and so far i've really enjoyed reading them the thing is that a lot of places um from tokyo like shinjuku station or the yamanote metro line all of these are mentioned in death note and so i would visit these places in the morning and then i would come back at night and read death note and they would talk about these places that i have visited and so it was such a fun experience to actually like read about places that i had actually gone to in the morning so it was just really really fun overall i've been having a great time reading this story but this is the first manga that i have ever read and so it took a little bit of time for me to get used to it the thing is that the way you read a manga is not like how you read a normal comic book and so it took me a little bit of time to get used to the order in which you have to read the panels but after like a few pages it just becomes very intuitive and now i feel like i finally know how to read a manga correctly without getting confused death note follows our main character an extremely intelligent genius type student named light who stumbles upon a notebook that belongs to one of the gods of death using the notebook light can kill anyone he wants as long as he writes the name of the person he wants to kill in that notebook and he knows how that person looks using this power light decides to start killing the world's most notorious criminals this catches the attention of our other main character l who is also a super smart genius type detective who has made it his mission to capture light and bring him to justice the battle of wits as light and l try to continuously outsmart each other is the main crux of this story. Okay, so it is much later in the day and I have finished reading volume 3 of Death Note and it is getting so good. Honestly, there have been so many twists and turns and it's just getting really really interesting. I love all of the like cat and mouse chases that are happening between L and Light and I love the way that they're both trying to outwit each other. It's just yeah, volume 3 is definitely 5 out of 5 stars for me and I am so excited to read on. One of the things I loved about traveling in Japan were the train rides. These trains were so smooth and so comfortable. Usually I don't like reading in moving vehicles, but on this train ride, I think I finished reading an entire volume of Death Note. And then we reached Kyoto. We got really good weather when we were in Japan and we were also really lucky to be just in time for cherry blossom season. We still got some fully bloomed cherry blossoms in Kyoto and they were just so so pretty.
Kyoto is the cultural capital of Japan and so when we were there we visited a bunch of shrines and temples. But because it was Sakura season all of these places were just really packed with tourists and that kind of took away from the vibe but Japan is still really really pretty and it was still nice visiting all of these places especially this golden Kinkakuji temple which was my absolute favorite. The other thing I loved about Kyoto were all of the matcha cafes. Honestly, the matcha in this city was superior. The matcha lattes were delicious and these cafes also gave me time to just kind of chill and read my book. We also visited the Arashiyama bamboo forest which was beautiful but also like all of the other places in Kyoto completely packed with tourists. However, I still found some time to chill and read my book because that's what I do. I carry my book with me everywhere and find time to read it. Okay, so we are nearing the end of our time here in Kyoto and I have finished reading volume 4 of Death Note. I had a really fun time reading this volume as well. Um, it ended off at this cliffhanger where like I just have no idea what's going to happen next. Like I don't know what Light's plan is. I don't really know how Elle is going to react. Like just I have absolutely no idea where this is going to go and I'm very very excited to see what happens next. I gave this volume 4.5 out of 5 stars and the reason why I cut 0.5 stars is there was just one thing that really like irked me about this volume and that is the way that female characters are portrayed and it's about the way female characters have been portrayed throughout this series. It just feels like all of the female characters that are introduced like their whole entire purpose is to fall in love with light. <laughs> And that's it. They have no other personality apart from being slightly less intelligent than him, like almost being slightly stupid and falling in love with him instantly. Like that is it. That is the personality of all the female characters in this book. And it's just getting a little bit lame. Like I wish there was more depth to these characters, like how all the male characters are being developed. But yeah, that's the only thing that's like sort of not sitting well with me right now but yes overall amazing storyline i'm completely hooked i need to know what happens next and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit down and read volume five now our last few days in japan were spent driving around this small town called kawaguchiko to try to get a view of the beautiful mount fuji i mean look at this view look at this view how can you not fall in love? We also spent time in this gorgeous little cafe which overlooked Mount Fuji again and it was just perfect. I had my book, I had this amazing Japanese fluffy pancake and I had the most brilliant view. This was my happy place. Hi guys! Okay, so tonight is my last night here in Japan. Uh, my trip is coming to an end, which is so sad. I'm in this hotel room in Tokyo and my flight is tomorrow morning. Over the last few days, we basically just traveled to a couple of cities around Japan. And in these few days, I finished reading volume 5 and 6 of Death Note. So I thought that I would end the vlog talking about them. Now... Volume 5 and 6 are kind of like a deviation from the first four volumes, like the storyline doesn't really go off on a tangent, but we get introduced to a bunch of new characters and it doesn't really feel like L versus Light, which is there in volume 1 to 4. And so that's why I think like volume 5 so far is my least favorite uh, Death Note volume because it just felt so different from volume one to four but then in volume six we kind of like 
you know, the storyline kind of comes back to how it was in the first four volumes. And we realize that like whatever is happening is um, still a part of Light's plan. And yeah, it's just like volume six ended on like this huge cliffhanger again. And the end was just like really, really intense and like very, very action packed. So I'm excited to read volume seven and onwards. But for the sake of this vlog, because my Japan trip is coming to an end, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I will be filming my reaction to volume seven and onwards in another video. So you can definitely look forward to another Death Note vlog uh, if you like this one. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time filming this vlog. I read my very first manga series and it was amazing. I had an amazing time reading Death Note and I'm very, very excited to read the rest of the series. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any other recommendations for mangas that I should read. And of course, do subscribe to my channel for more book-related videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!